Welcome to our lovely farm, kiddo. I'm glad you're here to continue the family business. The fact that you're about to take over the farm makes your pops quite happy, not gonna lie. When your father told me on a visit that he didn't want what I built here, I thought that was it. He even called it a dung heap when he left in his fancy suit. <laughs> and then he stepped into manure on the way to his car. It's okay that he does his own thing, but I thought I had to sell the farm. Thanks to you, it can stay in the family. You don't know what that means to me. Otherwise, your crazy uncle might have turned it into an amusement park with the main attraction of catching chickens on the fields or something. Anyway, let's not talk about that just now. I can tell you some stories later. And just so you know, I'm not out of the picture just yet. I'm here if you need me, just like your friendly neighbors you should talk to sometime. They're nice people, a bit strange perhaps, but still delightful in their own ways. So, do you want me to give you a quick tour and show you some things? Okay then, let me show you a couple of things, ease you in. There will always be people to help you out, but it's good to have done all the steps yourself, at least once. Right next to the farm, we're going to work on a field. There's also a big tractor with a cultivator. I'll walk you through how to operate it. I can't wait to see you get started. Are you ready to roll? Then hop onto the tractor and attach the cultivator. It's just to the back. Just like that, exactly. Now we do the work. Meet me at the field over there. Here we are. So before we can sow anything on the field, we need to take care of the stubbles, cultivate it, prepare it for the next season. Otherwise, the grain will not grow very well. Lower the cultivator and drive straight ahead. It's easy as spilling milk.
We're done here, kiddo. Now drive back to the garage and get out the cedar. I'll meet you there. Now we change tools, kiddo. Get rid of the cultivator and attach the cedar. Now you need to attach the cedar. Drive back slowly. That's how it's done. The sewing machine you just attached is empty. But don't you fret, I just went to the store. Next to the shed you will find a big bag with seeds. Get over there to fill the seed. Well done. Now you're ready to go. Last week I cultivated a field over there. Cultivated fields are ready to be sown. It's pretty straightforward. Drive the machine to the field and meet me there. We'll bring out canola. Here we are. One thing you need to pay attention to is timing. Plants need to be sown in specific seasons. It's midsummer. It's the perfect time to sow canola. And any other period, you might want to switch to a different kind of crop. You can always check the crop calendar. First, we need to prepare the seed. Choose the canola seeds, as the big bag is filled with all kinds of seeds. Seeding is easy. While seeding, straight lines are important though. Go back and forth to bring out the seed with as few gaps as possible. At some point, you'll have to buy a big bag of seeds at the store to refill it. But now you can use what you've got. Now, you've only got to switch the machine on and lower it to the ground. That's how it's done, kiddo. Oh, by the way, always keep an eye on the weather. According to the weather forecast, it's gonna rain soon. That's perfect for canola, but not as good for the wheat on the other field. If you want to hire a helping hand at some point, you can. We're done here. The helper will do the rest. Good job. Field workers are a great support if you're busy and cannot finish the job in time. Now get back to the garage and get out the harvester. Let's do it quickly. I'll meet you there. There you are. How do you feel? Because we'll do the harvesting next. There's a ripe field that needs taking down. 
You still up for it? The header for the harvester sits on the trailer attached at the back. Let's meet at the field, okay, kiddo? But drive carefully. That machine is a beast. So let's do this. You'll need to prepare the machine. With a combine harvester, the header cuts the plants. Those headers have different widths, depending on the size of the combine. Go detach the trailer. Then drive the harvester with its front to the header and attach it. Good, you're almost set now. Before you can start harvesting, the grain tank needs to be unfolded. Do that and bring yourself into position on the field. You can see that the field is nearly done already. I was feeling a little wobbly in the knees earlier, so I left it for you. Thought you might want to try it out anyway. All you need to do is to steer the harvester into the field. Unfold the tank, start the harvester, and do the rest. With a combine of this size, harvesting takes some time. But soon you will be able to buy a bigger one. Now go at it and show the crop who's the farmer.
one, kiddo. That's it. You have my blood in your veins, after all. Harvester has a limited capacity to store the crop. Now we need to unload the wheat onto a trailer to sell it. Prepare your harvester for unloading and unfolding the pot. start to stand up, and the wheat will start to pour out automatically. But we're missing something, aren't we? There's no trailer here just yet. Go get the trailer in the garage. Come back to the field so we can unload. Empty the tank of your harvester. Pull along to it on the driver's side of the harvester. The trailer is in the correct position directly below the pipe. The harvester will start to unload automatically. Neat, huh? Wait it out until it's unloaded. Well done, kiddo. You can either store the crop in your silo, or you can sell it. This load I promised to a vendor friend of mine. He's already waiting for you. So all you gotta do is drive the tractor with the trailer to his unloading station. Now, drive to the grain elevator to sell the wheat. This is one of many songs. 
If you don't like the prices you get on the market, you can also store the grain in your farm silo to wait it out. Sell your goods later. Now, let's get to it. Drive the trailer over the tip area and unload. Done. At some point, you'll do this in your sleep. Now, let's go back to the farm, shall we? You're back! Splendid! I started wondering if you joined your father. Well, where were we? Right. You've seen the most important steps on the field now. There's always more to do, like yield improvement, liming, fertilizing, weeding. Those require special equipment. Next thing is gaining a bit of a feel for everything. I'll just leave you to it so you can try out a few things. You don't want your old grandpa meddling with your business all the time, do you? But I'll be here if you need anything. If you want more detailed info, you can also ask Ben. He has been one of my most trusted helpers in the past. He will gladly explain a lot of farming techniques. Now, get to farming! Dung heap indeed. <laughs> You'll do just fine. This farm is your farm now. <laughs> 